tracks. The man accused of shooting an Albuquerque police officer wants the charges against him dropped. Action 7 News reporter Mike Springer was in court as Christopher Cook's attorney says the state has failed to hand over key evidence. This is lapel video from Albuquerque police officer Lou Golson taken back in January. Golson pulled over Christopher Cook because he thought Cook was intoxicated. Turn it off. Police say when Golson approached the stolen SUV Cook was in, that's when police say Cook shot him. <laughs> Golson was survived the ordeal as Cook fled on foot. He was later picked up by Bernalillo County deputies. Now Cook's attorney says the state failed to hand over some key evidence, and without it, the defense argues the charges against Cook should be dropped. Good morning, Your Honor. Larissa Breen on behalf of the state. Cook stood silently in court Monday with his hands cuffed, wearing his orange jumpsuit. As his attorney rattled off a lengthy list of items, he says the state has failed to turn over the case against Cook. No photos received so far of the scene. Either of uh, Mr. Officer Golson at UNMH. Cook's attorney says he's only received a few key pieces of evidence, such as things like the police report and Officer Lou Golson's lapel camera video. The state refuted those claims. Um, he leaves out a very, very critical piece of the argument, which is that every last bit of this is available on evidence.com and has been since well before the arraignment. The judge agreed, dismissing the defense's motion. Mike Springer, KOAT, Action 7 News. The case goes to trial December 14th. Cook is also facing a stolen vehicle theft charge in another case. That goes to court in the summer. First on